Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Monday, April 22, 2024, Monday of the fourth week of Easter. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal Mysteries on earth. Bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John, chapter 10, verses one through 10. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gates, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection in today's gospel, the image of the sheepfold is significant. It's like a three-foot stone wall that's open to the sky where the sheep can freely enter and exit. In a similar way, the Catholic Church is like this sheepfold. We have the freedom to choose whether to enter or leave, and anyone from the outside can easily enter it as well. This freedom is a gift from God who desires us to seek Him and freely choose to follow Him. As St. John Paul II once said, the church proposes, she imposes nothing. This reminds us that we're called to exercise our freedom responsibly, seeking the true and the good that God has placed in our hearts. Secondly, Jesus warns us about thieves and robbers who will try to lead us astray. These thieves and robbers represent the temptations of this world and the evil one. Despite our intelligence, we sometimes find ourselves mistaking the voices of vice for something good and worth pursuing. However, as the sheep trust their shepherd, we're called to trust Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who provides for us and protects us from all harm. If we truly believe in Jesus as the Son of God, we should rely on His voice and follow Him faithfully. Lastly, Jesus assures us that His sheep hear His voice and recognize it. As Catholics, we have the guidance of Scripture, tradition, and the magisterium of the Catholic Church to help us to discern the voice of the Good Shepherd. These three pillars of the church, like the gatekeeper and the gate, lead us to Jesus. In a world with various understandings of who Jesus is, we can trust in the firm foundation of the Catholic Church, which Jesus promised would not leave us orphaned. Even when we doubt, fear, or find ourselves lost in sin, we can turn to Jesus and His Church for guidance, reconciliation, and the abundant life that He offers. As we pray today, Let's express our belief in Him as the Good Shepherd who provides and protects us. Let's seek forgiveness for the times we have strayed from His fold and trust that true freedom lies in Him. 
let's express gratitude for the gift of the Church, where we can always find our way back and seek reconciliation through the sacraments. And so today, let's pray and thank Jesus for leaving us the gift of the disciples who formed our Church as a guidepost to point the way to Him. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.